you're having a great year personally, but you know, how is you know not coming up with these wins kind of weight on you a little bit, and how are you maybe redirecting the team from a leadership standpoint to stay positive? Uh, it's kind of frustrating. You know, I'm blessed. You know, to improve from last year, um, have great stats, but I care about winning. I'm a winner, um, and there's a lot of guys on the team that have a winning mindset, and us not getting a win in the column is very frustrating. So I see no stats right now. Does the frustration grow because y'all have been making progress for several weeks? Then, as Coach said, the Arkansas game can step back there. So, how do you guys sit there and think, okay, how do we push through this and take keep the progress going? Uh, we've been making progress, but that's really that's kind of the goal. But it's not, you know, progress with no wins. It's pointless. Mm -hmm. You know, I know everyone out there when we had big games it was like, you know, we played the George, we played the Texas team close. We're not trying to play them close. We're really just trying to win. And us just playing close not good enough, especially to me. What have you been seeing from Michael Van Buren in terms of the way he's been uh, getting better week to week? Oh, improvement. Um, his confidence. That, that's what it's about, especially as a freshman. Going out there with confidence from the jump and not building confidence, having confidence from the jump. So I, I say, like, this game, he came in with confidence. When he fumbled, he said, like, pick our head up. We're going to score the next drive. And that's exactly what we did. His confidence is getting high. He's becoming more and more of a leader. And that's what we need from him. What's it like having a guy that you know he's going to do your job, get open the second, third, whatever read? He will get the ball to you. He'll find you. Oh, it's a great thing having a guy like that. Um, it just shows the countless hours we spend together in film, it, it actually works. So just having a guy like him, a guy with swagger, a guy with confidence, that's just a great teammate to be around. Are you sometimes surprised that the guy's still a kid, and yet he's showing that confidence and swagger you mentioned? Now, nah, from day one when he came in, I, that was just him. He came in with confidence. Um, he knew from day one he, he can play early. Um, if it wasn't this year, next year, that was just always his goal to prepare now and not later. So I ain't surprised. You've talked often this year, even in the preseason, about the growth and, and, and the athletic ability of the freshman receivers. And then to see a guy like Ricky, who hadn't played all year, come up with a big fourth down catch. It just What you think about him and, and his ability to step in at that big moment? Any guy we got on the field, I got confidence in. Freshman, whoever. Um, we knew since Ricky stepped into the building what type of guy he was. He just needed the opportunity. So when I seen him out there, I ain't had to tell him his route. He knew it. That gave me confidence right there. He know his route. He know what to do. He know his alignment. So I knew he was going to make the catch. It ain't surprising. Surprising to us. He do it at practice. You know, however you practice, go show up in the game. What are y'all telling Mary? You better get back because there's a lot of balls out there to catch. Oh, yeah. We ain't told him. I ain't telling him not to. I told him not to rush, you know. Come back. And just do what you got to do. Uh, we definitely want him back, though. He's an impactful guy for us, a big guy for us. I need him on my side. So, yeah, I just told him to be patient, come back, and just make yeah. it be a big player. You good. Are you starting to notice teams are defending you a little bit different, people kind of shading coverage your way a little bit more? Oh, yeah, I noticed that. And um, I'm not surprised. I told the other guys, just be ready to get one on one balls. So, go out there, win your one on one, so I can get my one on ones right back. Do you think you made too big a splash in opening day? Because teams just focus. They're not going to let you return a punt. It took you eight weeks to get another ball you could return. Yeah, I, yeah, I wasn't surprised. After that game one, I knew teams wasn't going to really try to kick kick me the ball. But I'm still trying to return them. So if they give me a shot, give me at least one yard, I'm going to return them. Are there ways that the offense can kind of help the defense right now? Uh, most definitely. We got to score every drive. That's the goal. We got to at least um, get a field goal on the board. I mean, put three points on the board, we got to score touchdowns. But the goal is to score touchdowns. Last game, we had too many turnovers, came up short too many times. We have to score. We had too many opportunities. Some games, it's going to be shootouts, you know? Some games, our defense is going to play not the best. But it's, it's, it's our goal on the offensive side to you know, put up points and have a shootout. We haven't been able to talk to him a while. What's Coach Bump like in the meeting rooms? Oh, he's a fun guy. I love coming to practice each and every day with Coach Bump. Um, he, every day, he's just smiling, come, coming in with a – um, just he's just coming in, just smiling every day, just helping us pick our face up, uplifting us. Um, he just come with great energy. Is there any added pressure right now to score more points, just given the defensive struggles? I wouldn't say it's pressure, but at the same time, I would say it's pressure. We definitely have to score more points. It is what it is, and we got to do that. So, go. Our goal is to score a lot of points a game, and right now we haven't been doing it. So, it's pressure. It's pressure, but at the same time, it's not pressure. We just got to go out there and do our job. Justin talked about the energy from the crowd and how it affects things. How, how does that? How do you feel the atmosphere here? Um, 
the way it's been looking, um, our crowd been leaving a lot. So I always tell myself, you know, just play, play for my loved ones in the stand, play for my team, my teammates. So regardless who in the crowd or who not in the crowd, I'm playing hard regardless. And I'm playing to zero, zero, zero seconds on the clock.